This is Twit. Somebody sent me a letter saying, can you tell me what the name of that song is about easing into your hip bag? <laughs> <laughs> There's the magic laugh from Scott Wilkinson, home theater geek. He joins us every week to talk about home theater. He's a contributor at techhive.com, writes actually for a number of different magazines, online magazines. I guess we don't have magazines much anymore, online. You know, we don't. Yeah. I just I just saw a Facebook post yesterday. I, for many years, I wrote for a magazine called Electronic Musician. Yeah. Uh, which was a great what, magazine. What we call, yeah. Great magazine. Yeah. yeah. We, we talked about synthesizers and recording studios and stuff. I was the technical editor there for 10 years. This May is its last print edition. Yeah. They're going to stop printing. And I thought, what took them so long? <laughs> well, you know, Entertainment Weekly published its last print edition this week as well. Yeah. That I mean, uh, and that was a venerable, you know, entertainment magazine. Venerable. You know, oh, they're yeah. they're just all going by the wayside because most of the computer magazines long gone. Long, long gone. gone. Yeah. 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 And I think technical magazines. You're right. You'd think you know, electronic musician, any magazine that has somewhat technical audience would have been gone to the web a long time ago. But yeah, they're still going to apparently. Hard. Yeah, they're going to do a, a digital edition. Sure. So I guess they'll do sure. an email. So is uh, everybody. Yeah. So is everybody. So but is everybody. I, I was sad because, you know, I spent a good portion of my career there in print. And I got to tell you, I'm really happy to be online now. Uh, among the many benefits is there's no big lag time. You know, for a print magazine, you write something and then it comes out three months later. When we, when I first started, of course, in the very early days of technology, I was writing days. for magazines. And yeah, yeah. you'd get pre-release stuff. Yeah. And they try, because there was, a, in many cases, three-month la lead. So, yep. for monthlies anyway. So, you yep. get pre-release stuff and you'd have to sign a non-disclosure agreement. And yes. Say, I won't yes. tell anybody. Yeah. Uh, and, and I remember when the iPhone came out in 2007, they sent out uh, just three or four to the big publications, to Walt Mossberg yeah. at the Wall Street yeah. Journal, to Ed mm -hmm. Begg of USA Today, mm -hmm. uh, Stephen Levy of Wired Magazine. I think those are the three. Maybe there was one more. They we're the only people who got iPhones, and they got them very early because of lead time. Because of lead time. It took time. them a while. It took companies a while to figure out they didn't have to do that. Now... Apple sends, uh, for instance, its most recent release of the Mac Studio, sends out dozens to YouTubers just a few yes. days before and say it says yeah. you can't write about it until the day before we ship. So right. all the reviews came out on Thursday. It's very interesting. Right. Yeah. Yep, it, uh, it really is. So what do you want to talk about today? Well, I got an interesting email uh, about earbuds. Boy, you know, I'm conflicted on earbuds. I have yeah. so many earbuds. <laughs> right? Samsung keeps sending me earbuds for buying Samsung yeah. phones. I've got AirPods. So yeah. many. Yep. Most of them just well, fall right out of your ear, and I don't think well, the sound quality is that good. Well, it can be. Now, Mark Hoffman wrote me and said he wanted reasonably priced Bluetooth earbuds, so true wireless and main concern is getting a good fit. So that's kind of what I wanted to talk about today. Yes. Because if they now, don't fit snugly, you won't get good yeah, bass. You won't get good bass. It, it, the whole sound will be kind of what I call tizzy. Kind of fizzy. <laughs> kind of zzz, bzz, bzz. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, it, it, you really need to get a very good seal in your ear canal, which will also help in preventing them from falling out, which is another problem. Uh, so it's really, really important. Almost all earbuds come with a variety of what are called ear tips. That is the little silicone thing that you stick on the end of the, of the earbud, what's called the nozzle, which is where the sound comes out. And you can you get, they usually come small, medium, large, sometimes four or five different sizes. And it's really important to try them out and find the best fit for you because everybody's ears are different, of course. So I myself need very large ear tips in order for them to, to seal well and therefore not be prone to falling out. A lot of us in uh, TV and musicians do this, actually go to audiologists yes. and get silicone rubber poured into our ears. Yep. And they attach a little string to it. And yep. then they pull it out, <laughs> and then you after send a couple that, minutes, yeah. Then you send it to companies like JH Audio or uh, UE or Ultimate Ears or Sensophonics, and they make 
a hard plastic insert that you, only yep. you can wear. That's right. Because it's molded to the inside of your ear. Now, those this fit is, really well. This is absolutely the best way to go, without yeah. question. You know, uh, my, um, my custom ear ear plugs, uh, ear hearing protection are are made. Sure, because they seal. Now, they I have to say, really well. uh, and this is a plug because they're a sponsor of some of our podcasts, Ultimate mm -hmm. Ears, which is one of the early companies to do this, yeah. does make a new kind of earbud with this weird, you got to try these, light technology. You put it in your ear, press a button, it starts to warm up in your ear. Not hot, hot, but warm. And molds to your ear. And molds to your ear. Wow. I'm looking I've for mine. Them. I love them. Oh, I've got to try that. They're not quite that... as perfect as if you went to an audiologist, of course. But, right, right. But boy, they sure sound good but and going they to fit an audiologist, better. Going to an audiologist, you're going, you're going to spend 100 or 200 Just bucks for the fitting. That. Yeah. Yeah. The nice yeah. thing is your ears don't change much. So I have right. the earbuds uh, that I use in studio are from JH Audio. Uh, and uh, they keep your molds, so I call. I sent them another a note saying, "Can I have some more?" And they had the I, molds, and they just made some more. I went to a to a to a headphone show a couple of years ago, and I think it was Ultimate Ears. I'm not 100 percent sure, but they actually did a laser scan. Yes, remember ear. that? Yeah, this yeah. is this is kind of the more reasonable. Yes, child of that, and yes. the, and it, it it warms up. And it's some sort of silicone tip. You have some, right? Mm -hmm. Have you tried them? Yeah, I did the fitting and everything. It's yeah. kind of interesting, it's isn't really, it? It's really, yeah, it is. It's kind of fun. Uh, How do of, you feel like the fit is? So uh, what was cool is that the ones that I had, they the one of my ears, it just did not fit well. Uh, luckily, within the app, they have this thing where you go through this little test afterward, and then they put me in touch with the people at uh, UE, and oh, they you were sent able me to get smaller a... ones. Cause yeah, because you have little those. ears. My, my, yeah. ear, my ears are not little, but my ear, ear canals are little. The canals are. Yeah. And this is what's really critical. Even more important, sometimes some people have different size on the right and the left. Yep. So you might use a large on the left and a medium on the right or something like that. So my my message here is to, if you're, if you're not going to go with this custom job, either with an audiologist or this new UE thing, which I really want to try. 164 bucks, which is okay. amazing because earbuds can, you know, AirPod Pros, which don't fit that well, mm -hmm. yeah, cost right. 100 bucks more. Yeah. So, I, yeah. you know, again, they're a sponsor. So these UEs so. Are, are with the with the earbud itself, with the... Yeah, the, the, it's, they're called UE Fits. Oh, okay. Um, Logitech oh, bought UE a while ago, and uh, uh -huh. this is this is the latest attempt to kind of cross the bridge between going to an audiologist yes. and getting your ultimate ears, you know, specially fitted. Are you wearing fitted ones right now? Aren't you, Micah? No, I haven't no? gotten them yet. You got Someday. you got regular ones. Yeah, just regular. Someday ones. Someday when you get into the big time, yeah, we'll send you <laughs> we'll, we'll send you an audiologist. When I first started at Tech TV. An audiologist came over and fitted everybody. That's cool. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So maybe if you well, work... that cost them a little money. Yeah. <laughs> you know, at the time, they thought they had lots of money. That's right, turned right. out not to be the case. <laughs> <laughs> but you're right. This is one of the reasons I don't like earbuds. They, they don't sound great unless they fit well and they'll fall unless, out. That's and right. they're easy to lose. I'm yep. still kind of a fan of over-the-ear uh, headphones, to be honest. When I want to hear the best quality sound, I think that's the best way to go. Well, I agree. I agree. Although my one more, the the numeral one M O R. Oh yeah, I bought some of those because uh, of you. Yeah, they're they're very good. They're good. I, I I use them in when I'm on the stationary bike, for example. You um, you, you definitely want to. They'll all come with multiple tips. The good ones, anyway. Maybe yeah, not the exactly. skull candy, but the good ones will come <laughs> oh, come with uh, multiple tips that you can then uh, try until you get one that sort of so you get one sort that of fits. fits the the best. use this yeah. UE stuff is it's the, it's called a photopolymer gel tip, and it's wow. light sensitive and it adjusts. Yeah, and I think the sound quality is quite good. And cured. I'm, and so I'm pretty happy. Yeah, pop in, get the lights yes. going. And yes, cure wild. It. Yeah, man. Scott That's Wilkinson, great. home theater geek. Thanks. I you know. <laughs> I must have put them down uh, somewhere. Mine are by my bedside table because I use them. I listen all the time. Yeah. And I, I hate to give them a big plug like that because they're a sponsor, but. And I wouldn't, honestly, I wouldn't have known about them if they hadn't bought ads. Hadn't been a yeah, sponsor. Cause yeah, because it's brand new. Right. That, yeah, this... But 164 bucks is not bad, I think. No. And they're true wireless, right? They're, they're, yeah, they're, they're Bluetooth. Yeah. Premium single dynamic 10 millimeter drivers. They have microphones <laughs> as well. Oh. So you can use them for phone calls. Yep, yep. 
and the patented Great. light form technology. Oh man, well, I'm going to have to try that. I'm, I may see if uh, TechKai will authorize me to do a review. And then yeah, you should do a review. Yeah. Um, or I'll ask. Uh, I, I don't know who's. I, th I think it's Max's client. I'll ask Max if he can. I can't. What did I? I hope I didn't lose mine. <laughs> I was bringing them to work. I carry them with me in my uh, purse, but I take them out to charge them. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. USB-C charging. Yeah, mm -hmm. USB-C. USB-C, that's good. Yeah, oh, God. Does anybody <laughs> only have USB? Amazon. <laughs> really? <laughs> All of its products <laughs> still. Oh, my God. <laughs> Get with the There program. are quite a few with, with micro or mini, L mini oh, USB or whatever crazy. it's called. Mike Heiss in the chat room says they showed that one year at one of the CES tabletop events, like Showstoppers or, ah. or Pepcom. Digital experience. The the urgency of it is kind of fun for me because you get the thing and it's like, hey, as soon as you take this out of the package, because it's completely sealed, sealed in this black package. Yeah, any light. Oh. So any Boom. light will start to cure them. Will so start to cure it. Yeah. Right. So you right. pop so them on and then you slip them in your ears and it's like, hold it a little bit. You'll feel some warmth in your ears because the app is following along with the process and it has like a countdown. And so you're listening to music so that it uh, with some good bass and, and mids and highs. And so you kind of jam it along as this purple light is shining out of your ears as it's <laughs> we have a video of me doing yeah, it do. somewhere. I don't know where really? it is. Really? Yeah. Um, which recorded for the ad. Um, you know, actually, I think they sound as good as my uh, JH audios. They just, the nice thing uh, about the custom molded ones is you can't really see them. They're really in your ear. Oh, these they're you, really in your these ear. These you can huh. see. Yeah. And it looks like UE still does, does custom IEMs. So, yeah, they do. You can still do the audiologist thing. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. And I mean, 164 bucks. Well, 100 to 200 bucks just for the ear molds, and then you got to right. buy. That's why I can't. I think you know they say uh, these are reduced right now. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going on because mm. uh, they're normally 264, but right now 164 are UE fits. They're normally what did you 250, say? 250, 250. Oh, wow. but but right now maybe it's because it's. No, it's not the color. 164. I think they're just really trying to get in people's attention. These, I mean, because right. once you use them, you're going to tell your friends, as we did. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to yeah. tell your friends. You're going to mm -hmm. say, yeah. you know, you don't want to get the audiologist. I mean, 164 is actually less than AirPods Pro, and those are not molded to your ear. Right. And I think they sound as good. They have noise canceling. They have all that. Oh, active noise canceling? Yeah. Yeah. And you can, can talk be to, good, or that can be not so good. Uh, well, you don't have to use it, but they yeah. have it. If you turn it, if you have it, if you can turn it, it off, it works well. When I'm in the hot tub, I can't hear the bubbles. <laughs> the bubbles. <laughs> you know, when I'm in the hot tub, I like to wear my UE fit. <laughs> oh my god, because I can't hear the bubbles. Lovey, Lovey, <laughs> keep blowing, Lovey. More bubbles. <laughs> Bring me a rum and coke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the bubbles man. are so loud. 